Hey all nudes here, welcome back to Nudes Airborne RC. And today is part two from our X-Fly Glassstar V2 that's offered by Banana Hobby. Today we're gonna to be doing the assembly of the model, our CG, and our throws on all the surfaces. It's a very simple model, it's gonna be pretty quick, so stay tuned. Now to start off, and we're gonna go by order of the manual. We're gonna go with our wing. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need this Y. We're going to go ahead and hook up to both sides. And we're going to go ahead and install our wing. All right, now the next step, we're going to go ahead and mount our wing to our fuse. You're going to need a quantity of two of the three millimeter by 20 millimeter screws. And we're also going to go ahead and need two of the R-clips for the supports. So to go ahead and get this on, we're going to drop the Y in there. We're going to lower down the supports. We're going to feed it in in this tongue and groove system in the front. And we're going to gently go ahead and lower the wing down. She's a nice tight fit. We're going to drop her down and we're going to go ahead and mount her with our three millimeter by 20 millimeter screws, one on this side. And it doesn't take much guys, as you can see, I'm using my driver without the handle and just going finger tight. That's about all you're gonna need on this. All right. The next we're gonna go ahead and get our supports. And last step of the wings is to go ahead and mount our supports. And we're gonna go ahead and use our R clip to go ahead and fasten her in. Now this is gonna be a nice tight fit, everybody. There we go, we got it started and we're gonna go ahead and push her on down until she locks. And that's it, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and move on to the next step. Okay, for the next part, the elevator, we're gonna go ahead and obviously need our horizontal stab and our control rod. Now we're not gonna go ahead and use the control rod now until we get the receiver installed so we can do our mechanical zero. Now to install the elevator, it is tongued right here. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our elevator this way. That way, if we go this way, the control horn's not in the way. And we're gonna get it started and we're gonna get our three millimeter by 20 millimeter screws. And we're gonna go ahead and get them screwed in. And that's gonna go ahead and finish it up for the elevator until we get our receiver installed. Love you, Lincoln. And be careful to not over tighten these so you don't strip them out. Now that takes care of the elevator until we come back and with the receiver. And on to the next part. All right, to finish off the elevator, now you can wait to use your receiver for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my servo tester. I have my servo tester up in the front. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna center out the servo. And we're gonna get our control arm that came with the kit. And it's gonna go onto the outer hole. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn this eyelet right here until we get this elevator nice and square. So we're gonna go ahead and level out our surface right here. And we need to move this out. So not to put any stress on the servo, I will use a pair of pliers. 
Now we'll go ahead and give it a, a few unscrews. I need to come out more. Right there. Maybe a half a turn. And I think that's gonna go ahead and do it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get our control arm. We're gonna get it lined up and we're gonna snap her on. And there she goes. For the landing gear, you're going to need obviously your landing gear. You're gonna need your support plate and you're gonna need three of the three millimeter by 10 millimeter screws. The gear has a notch here and a notch there. That just goes ahead and gets lined up. And your support plate drops right in. And we go ahead and drop in our screws and we're gonna go ahead and screw her down and we will be done with the landing gear. Now this landing gear, for the weight of the plane, it is gonna be very robust. And again, be careful not to over tighten the screws. And the landing gear is installed. Now for our power plant, first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and put on our back plate. We're gonna go ahead and take our prop, take into account the orientation, it's gonna go ahead and spin. And we're gonna go ahead and take our fastener and we're gonna fasten her down. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of the shafts of my Allen wrenches to go ahead and do so. There we go. We're gonna take our nose cone and we're gonna take a three millimeter by 10 millimeter screw And we're gonna go ahead and get this mounted. All right, now for the rates, we're gonna start off with the elevator. It calls out for a high rate of 20 millimeters and I have a low rate right there of 15 millimeters. Now for the aileron, the book calls out for a high rate of 20 millimeters and a low rate of 15 millimeters. All right, now for the rudder, it's calling out for a high rate of 15 millimeters and a low rate of 12 millimeters. We're just gonna keep a rate of 15 millimeters and it's calling out to measure here from the top, not the bottom, cause it's at an angle and the bottom's gonna deflect more. So it's 15 millimeters outswing at the top. Now for CG, the book calls out 50 millimeters from the front of the root of the wing on in right there. Looks good. Well, y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed the little tutorial. It's a real easy plane. It's great for a beginner. Um, if you have a child, I want to say, you know, anywhere six years old, they can literally help you put this together and you can get them in the hobby. Soon, we'll go ahead and we're going to get the maiden done. We're going to run it on 3S and 4S and put it through its paces out here in the desert. Noon's out. Awesome.